streaming live here from Photo Plus Expo 2015 at the Jacob Javits Center here in New York City. Um, and now we're talking with Kodak, but about something very specific. I have it right here in my hand. This is the PixPro 360 camera, and it's an action camera. And this is Kevin from Kodak. Welcome. Thank you so much for being on the show. Absolutely. Yeah. This thing is so cool looking. It's so little. It, it feels it's smaller than a GoPro. Right? It's comparable. It's comparable. So tell me a little bit about this. We're so into 360, um, you know, footage and filming this day and age. You know, it's on the brink right now. We've talked to Rico. We've had a bunch of people on talking about their cameras because there's so much going on right now. So um, you know, we're going to give you the that mic. There we go. Can we hear you? Can we test one, two? Yep. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so um, tell me a little bit about this camera and what it can do. So it's a 360 camera, right? So traditionally you would think that you would have to point the camera like this, uh -huh. but in reality the camera shoots all the way around its perimeter. So so if you so if I lay it down like here on the table, it's going to record everything happening in a full in a in a half sphere like this. Okay. And so you don't have to point or shoot or direct or anything. So I don't have to worry that it's on my face. Yeah, or no, because it's that capturing stuff. everybody. Everything. Yeah, it's capturing And even like you, I was me. saying, it's like not up my nose over here because you can always turn <laughs> it, right? Well, the viewer is in control after the fact. Oh right? wow! Okay. So. Um, so after you're done recording, you would go back and either on YouTube, you load it into YouTube right with your smartphone or your, or your VR device, you would be in control of what you want to look at, right? So uh, if someone wants to look up your nose, they probably can, but then they, you know, they probably quickly turn away or, or look somewhere else. Right. But, uh, but yeah, it's, uh, it shoots in a half sphere, and so um, you, it's great for mounting. You can mount it up against walls, and you can capture entire environments, mount it to the ceiling, Mount it to the to anything, and we do come. It does come with a lot of accessories. Oh! So we have an underwater housing that you can take scuba diving with. We have a helmet mount. So this is waterproof. Um, we have a we have it's splash proof. So splash proof. If, uh, okay. So if you were to spill some water on it, it'd be fine. Okay. But uh, you, I wouldn't dunk it into. Right it. into. <laughs> but uh, we do have a housing, an underwater housing for it. Got for it. it. So you can go scuba diving with it. Okay. And uh, we have helmet mounts, so you can take it skydiving with you. One of my favorite videos actually is a skydiving video where the guy had it mounted facing down like this, right? Okay. And so it captures the selfie, right? It captures your face and then it captures everything, everything around and then it captures everything down and around like that. And so uh, with your VR set or, or uh, your smartphone device, you can share the videos with anyone, all your friends, and it's like they're, they're with you, you know? Right. So that's something we've been talking about as far as VR, virtual, virtual reality. Let yeah. me spit that one out. Um, that the, the content, content is what we're, we're talking about. You know, the cameras are all here and 360, is this full 360? It's a 360 by 180. So okay. um, we actually are um, are coming out with a, a dual mount where you can you can put one back to back. Back to back, got it. And so when you do that, you get like a floating orb experience, as if you were, uh, you know, if you had a, if we have a, a, a selfie stick that attaches to the dual oh, mount, cool. and so we could put it here in the middle of the of the room, and, and then we're capturing same. everything all around. Um, I like the fact that you can use it as a single or a double because they have different uses right great so once for mounting up against walls and then the the dark spot that you would get when you record would be right here because there's no lens right here right but you can add graphics to this your your that company part. logo uh, great for marketing great for explaining what you're doing so if people want to look around in the front and then they see behind them oh I'm in uh, the Grand Canyon right now I see what I'm looking at right so it's constantly reminding you what you are looking at while yeah. you're watching the video yeah. 360 and they don't have to look at the blind yeah, spot they, they can look to. at the rest of the video yeah, when they that's super interesting and that's that's leading me into what I wanted to talk about as far as content yeah um, what is some of the stuff besides the skydiver how how do you think that content is going to drive in these 360 videos well you know I feel like every Every person, uh, business, company, they, they all have use for this camera. Um, just simply starting from the consumer, right? Um, you want to record your life. You want to record memories that will last you forever. And a, a photo only captures a small little segment, you know, a small frame. Even video only captures one part of what, of what you're doing. Right. Like if I was to go to the Grand Canyon, 
um, I'll only be able to capture a small section of that, but I want to capture the whole thing. Right. You know, I want to capture me being there and I want to capture the place I'm at. And so even for personal use, I would say um, the cool part with VR and 3D cameras is, is that I can go back, let's say 20 years later, and I can see myself in the environment and with my VR set, I will feel like I'm there experiencing reliving that moment again. And the cool thing is that you can watch a video multiple times and never get tired and always see something new. Something different, Cause this, yeah. Because the first time I watched a video, I was, I was fixed on this spot. But then the next time I watch a video, I want to go look at this direction. And so, you know what I mean? You can literally watch it 360 times because every time you can go in a different yeah. angle. So you talked about YouTube being the place that you would upload these videos. Yeah. How good is the quality of image on YouTube when you're yeah. watching it? Um, the thing about YouTube is that they, uh, the quality depends on how your bandwidth is and how, how much data you can actually pull into your phone. Got YouTube it. automatically down reses or up reses your quality on your phone depending on the the place you're at so if you're hooked up to wi-fi you're going to get great quality hd quality but let's say we're at a, a crowded event where everyone's using their cell phones you and mean like photo plus like photo, photo plus, plus expo photo. here yeah then it then it becomes a little bit more pixelated but it has nothing to do with the camera it just has to do with the streaming qualities oh um, okay what i have done to uh, solve this solution also is i've downloaded a 360 player so there are 360 players now where you can uh, save your 360 video to your phone and regardless of whether you have Wi-Fi or not, you can be watching your 360 video. So I could be on my plane watching a 360 video on airplane mode. <laughs> Get out of here. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. That's kind of awesome. Yeah, no, it's great. Uh, I mean, the, f the future is so big for 360. I mean, imagine once your uh, TV screens are doing 360, right? Um, I can't, but <laughs> but I hear you. Yeah, I mean that's that's where we are now. Yeah. The future is now. The future is, and now. it is 360 cameras. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Uh, the way I envision it is the same way that you stream the 360 on your cell phone, and then with your remote control, you can go You're left, right, the up, image. around, and it's like, okay, I want to be here, I want to be there. Imagine movies once the, the movie producers start using this to no, film that's movies. It's incredible. It's incredible. Uh, POV, um, POV might be my favorite. Um, like I said, uh, I like the camera because I can capture my selfie and I can capture my environment all in one. Right. So I, this is a great shot. Like if I was to take a picture now, I, I, I probably will. You know, I think I want to. <laughs> I, I want to remember this moment. So Go I'm ahead. Turn this on. I'll start recording now. Actually. Now, does it have a, a microphone? Yeah, for yeah. Audio? So it records audio right now. It does. Now. Yeah, yeah. So we'll be recording audio. Oh. And so I'm doing a video. I'll share this video with you guys awesome. uh, after the fact. Um, well, I'll remind everyone. This is <laughs> Be Terrific. This is Kevin. I'm Andrea. We're on 360 video right now, streaming. Yeah. Um, not streaming live, but we're recording, yeah, 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 we're recording. at the um, on the Kodak Pix Pro. Yeah. And so the cool thing is, like, I can record this moment, right? And then, like, 20 years from now, I'll put on my VR set. And, that, and I, I can relive it, you know, yeah. sit, sitting right here. But um, I also like the POV view. And so this is another thing I've been doing because I'm constantly trying to figure out different ways I to use I love it. Camera. And that's um, really good. It's good for our viewers because everyone, I feel like we're at a moment where everyone needs to kind of put their input on how to use these or get the most out of them, you know, yeah. to utilize them. Yeah, it's uh, it's uh, it's uh, like the pioneer days right now. Absolutely. We're like paving a new road yeah. into 360 and I feel very happy and proud to be a part of it. And so back to the POV. Um, I mounted it on my forehead uh -huh. and then one behind, right? And so now you get like a, now when I put on my VR glasses, um, you're me. Oh my gosh, really? So like um, I just ran the Spartan race. It's like this obstacle race yep. where you do all these activities and all these things. And I used it that way, right? And so when you watch the video, you see my arms running, jumping, my legs kicking out and, and me climbing up. And then it feels like it's you though. And you get to look around, look left, look up, look all around. It's, that is it's crazy. It's amazing. It's literally amazing. I see a lot of theme park rides or, uh, you know, attractions yeah. spawning from this yeah. 360 VR video. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure some things have been there and people have thought about them, but that, I mean, this is really new and innovative stuff. Yeah, you know, the concept of 360 has been around for a while. Right, exactly. Um, through all the expos I've been doing, I've met guys who tell me, like, I was working on this 10 years ago. It's crazy. But we had, like, mega rigs set up, yep. and it was super complicated and difficult. And look at where it is now. I know. <laughs> he, uh, Michael was talking about the GoPro and how they have a 12... 
or six camera mount? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's to, uh, six to get to the 12. same effect, but six you have to, to 12, stitch yeah. the video together. And it's, it's it's a major process. Yep. Um, think of six GoPro 4K footages, right, and then syncing them all up. Yeah. And then uh, uploading them, and then stitching them, and then rendering them, and processing it. It's a lot of work. A um, lot of work. A lot of work. So tell me about um, the videos that you have. Is it through Kodak that you can? learn how to use yeah, the camera. Um, I have them on, we share them on the Kodak uh, PixPro um, YouTube channel. So you can definitely go to Kodak PixPro S360 and you'll find our YouTube channels and you'll find our tutorials. Great. My tutorials are there. Um, I do put them on my personal channel also. Okay. But those are linked into our uh, company account and so you can find the videos there. On there I teach you, um, well, there's multiple videos aside from me, other people have made videos also, where we show you how to use our software, which has a one button YouTube upload. So uh, even, even 360 is complicated if you really want to get to the bare bones of it, but our company wants to make it simple for the consumers and the users to use. So. So you don't have to transcribe your video, you don't have to unfold your video into equi rectangular image. No, uh, with us, you load in your video to our software, press the YouTube button, and then it'll process it and, and ask you to upload right after. So one button to YouTube. Is the software free? And the software is free. <gasps> oh my goodness. Yeah. That's like the that's music to my ears. Yeah. Because anything that's simple, easy, free, I mean, a lot of people, consumers especially, if we're not pros, we're not using it all the time. We just want to use it for fun. We want to show moments of our lives. That's the best way to do it. It's free software. You one button one button and you're there and so uh, and then I also get nitty-gritty with it and I have tutorials out there where you can I show you how to unfold your videos using After Effects and editing with Premiere adding music making cuts adding titles uh, the, the adding graphics like I said adding the adding your logo to the back of the uh, back of your 360 Wow um, so so uh, you know I'm, I'm putting it out there for everyone I want everyone to be making their 360 videos I want everyone to be recording their memories you know, family reunions, birthday parties, uh, skydiving, right. visiting different countries. Whatever you do, you can do it in 360. Amazing. Well, I can't wait to check it out. And thank yeah. you so much for joining us yeah, here today no on Be Terrific. Yeah, no, thank you for having me. This is a, a pretty cool product. Um, so you guys, check it out. The Pix Pro by Kodak. This is Kevin. Thank you again. And uh, you guys sit right there. We have so many more guests coming up. Day three, Photo Plus Expo here in New York City, 2015. I'm Andrea Fasano, and we will be right back.